So I was waiting. You beat hey, me I to it. I wasn't going to ask. I just knew I was in trouble. Here we go. Green is out. Green flag weighs first feature event of the evening is underway. You know, sometimes you can figure out a little plan for a guy's name. I can't figure out the plan for his yet. Either way, right now, going on the back story, there Bill Mengden, who wasn't even going to go racing tonight, said, I'm done. I'm out. Basically, I don't have a ride tonight. And Ooh. right now, he's up high. We got a synchronized spin over there between three and four. Juno. <laughs> don't you know? Did you know? Don't you know the rules? That's right. Uh-oh. Tyler oh. Rogers takes me as Mackey went up in no man's land. That pretty much forced Tom Juno to dime in the corner. He might say, hey, that was fast. Let's yeah. try it again. Whoops, no, he did Oh. Oh. And Gustin spins to avoid and hits Magden, who broke a front end. As Abbas gets into the deficit here a little bit, he'll drive it in even harder in a turn number three. Checkered is out. It'll be the five of Rogers winning tonight's feature event. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your first feature winner, Tyler Rogers! Tyler, congratulations on a feature win. Welcome to Fulton Speedway Victory Lane. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's about time. How's it feel? Oh, amazing. Awesome. It was a lot of fun. Bob Herzog, down to racing one night a week, up there at the top spot. Whoa, hang on there, turn number three. As they work it off the corner here, it continues to be the three of Herzog. He So, Colm Herzog continues only with five laps to go. Strickler there in second, Moyer is third. Rachel, Zacharias back and forth, throw a blanket over him for fifth, sixth, and seventh. To the turns they go. Strickler trying to put the move on Colby down the front straightaway. At the line, it's the 87 and uh, the three side by side. Strickler leads into one. Colby coming back after him down the back straightaway. Here comes Colby to the outside. Making a move with three more circuits around the racetrack. Checker flag ready to come out for John Strickler. Herzog second. Second feature winner, John Strickler! Monkeys off my back. Feels great. It was a really good race. Whew, been waiting for that. I gotta thank my crew of buttons and uh, Brian Murphy and Jeff Fesco and my dad, uh, just a phenomenal race. That was a tough one. The track was a lot slicker than I thought it was going to be. We'll see the green flag off at turn number four. Green flag is out. Feature event number one for the sportsman is underway. I'll tell you, these guys look like team cars on the front row, the way their paint jobs are, as Willie Decker and Brett Draper Go on down, they jam up behind him as looks like uh, Alan Fink had to take evasive action off of turn number two. Yeah, that started with forward, then it was root, then it was the 9X of Tyler Trump who goes way up the top side of the racetrack and will bring out the yellow as did Kyle Perry who smacked the turn four wall. One, Brett Draper using that momentum off of turn two. He'll be your leader down the back stretch. The 1X of Willie Decker Jr. to the inside and who will it be off of turn number four? Decker and Draper, D&D, &D, double D's at the front row. Gotta love that as uh, Draper's on the outside. Decker there, here comes Mike Stanton trying to split them. With the 3M. In the high side of the speedway, but Glenn Forward drives it in deep. He'll try the swine job and it turns three and four. Slides up to the top. Stanton comes back by the crossover. Stanton leads in his battle for third place. You've got Fink. Berker, Decker, Root, all running tightly together off of turn number two. They were four wide in a turn number one. Look at forward again as we go back to the lead. Tries a slide job. Couldn't get it done there. Stan continues.
Chase a lead. Meanwhile, it is a battle going out for third, fourth, and fifth. Yellow oh. got a car going around up there in turn number one. Forward with the lead on the restart here at lap number 18. So forward with the slide job on Stanton. Stanton didn't have enough momentum built up that time to try the slide job. So that drops Stanton back to second. The driver out of Morrisville, New York. Glenn, fast forward, your feature winner. Alan Fink, second, Todd Root, third. Glenn, forward! Yeah, you know, we set quick time in uh, warm-ups here, but I uh, ended up having a carburetor issue, so I had to swap that. And uh, it's a brand-new carburetor, so it takes a minute or two to get, get some kinks out of it. Uh, but uh, I got to thank Donneth Motor Works for, for that. And uh, we got to work it pretty good. You know, I don't think I've ever had a clean sweep on a night. We were fastest in practice, won our heat, and then uh, topped it off with a win in the feature tonight. Green is out. We're back underway. Let's see if we get this one going. A little shake, rattle, and roll down in the first turn. Amazon is going to Mike Button with the same move last time. Up to the number three spot with the ADX on the outside. And it'll be Jason Amadon leading lap number one. Amarillo in the two spot. Look at Jim Spino. He'll rock the inside line. He'll take the two spot. And I'll tell you, Button's going to follow him right through that same hole. Wow. And we're back at it. Whoa, trouble on the front straightaway. Oh, Dorian went on up and over. As he goes up to the high side of the racetrack, here comes RD3. Here comes uh, Here comes Will Shield down the front straightaway. He goes to the inside. Shields has the inside line. It forced Amadon off the middle of the racetrack. New leader down the back stretch. It's the 82 of Will Shields. So Shields will lead it in a turn three. We might have another leader off at turn four because here comes Davis. He's up to the two spot here as we're halfway home. So Shields continues to lead. Davis might have it here though. Clearly passes the 82 down the back stretch, but can he keep the lead in the three? Now shut the door going in between three and four and RD3 does just a little bit as we're gonna come down with six laps to go. Down to the bottom in turns three and four, checkered flag of the year. The driver out of Memphis, New York, Ron Davis, your feature winner. Now put your hands together if you would please for our RD3, Ronnie Davis. Yeah, I usually kind of wait it out just to see, just to try to stay out of the stuff like that what happened tonight. And uh, once everybody gets spread out, I kind of try to pick them off. It has a green flag in hand. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tracy Road Equipment Big Block Metal Fights are green here at the high banks. Down in the turn number one, they're still side by side for the top spot. Both sides are has the advantage on the exit of the corner. He'll lead the field down in the turns three and four. Off the back straightaway, Adam Roberts a little bit difficult. They're sandwiching him. Lap number one is going to 55. All sides will lead the way. Adam Roberts trying to work his way up through the field. Pat Ford looks in. Adam Roberts in trouble. McLaughlin had nowhere to go. He slid in the Tommy Sears 62S. Just railed him off the board. Here comes White. White up to second as he's side by side with Mike Bowman. Lap 14. Minor Larry White diving low down the back straightaway. Completes the pass off a of turn number four. 14 laps in and continues to be whole signs are showing the way. Larry White. Restarts at the barrel, takes the lead. Pat Ward, see if he can chase him. Jimmy Phelps, he goes on the top side. Let's see how this plays out. So White to the lead here on the high side of the speedway. Pat Ward in second. Coming up for turn number four, clock 35, going up on the board. And it's a hat trick for the, the uh, 2017 season for Larry White. Second, Timmy Sears third. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Lightning, Larry White. Uh, this car has just been phenomenal. Um, you know, since last week, we found a couple of issues with it, and it's it's right back on track. Uh, last night, I think we probably had a good shot at the win if we just had a caution to regroup. Uh, you know, we came back from 
21st, 23rd, something like that, and got to six, and we were definitely coming on the top five. Uh, but this car's been awesome. It's, you can't do anything wrong to it right now. High point man Kevin Cook coming in over Chad home by one point going to tonight's racing feature. Chad had issues with the starter. That's why he was not out there for the heat race. Thinks he might have gotten it fixed here. But he'll have to start from the back to the front here. Three wide for the lead. Parkhurst trying to split the uprights in. Take the lead. It's going to be Kirby by a front bumper here one lap in. Well, Jason Parker's on the top side of the racetrack. He's got the advantage off of turn two. Takes the lead. Look underneath Carby. Couldn't get it done. Oh, Carby goes around by himself and hits an implement tire and keeps it going. On the bottom. Oh, Mike Kasmer, Zach getting real squarely there, and Parker's didn't lift for a minute. White flag is out. Make it checkered. This time. Jason Parkhurst, your feature winner. He's getting ready to climb out. If you would, please put your hands together for Jason Parkhurst. Well, without radios and stuff, I have no idea. So you have no idea who's knocking on your back door. So you just try to hit your marks every lap. Don't blow the corner.